Jake's Amazing Adventure, written and illustrated by Lucius Ng. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Jake. Jake was ten years old and lived in the quiet Welsh countryside with his mum and dad. Jake was often very lonely. He had no friends in the countryside, so he would visit his grandpa most weekends. His grandpa considered himself an inventor. People thought he was nuts, but Jake loved him. Jake always looked forward to seeing his grandpa's latest inventions. It was during one of those visits that grandpa showed him his latest invention. A time machine! Jake longed to travel the world, meeting other children. Before his grandpa could say, Stop! Jake had climbed inside and pressed the glowing start button. Oh no! his grandpa shouted. First stop in the time machine was China. As Jake stepped out of it, a boy greeted him. Ni hao. My name is Zi Kuang. I am eight and I live here in Beijing with my family. We live in the countryside so I ride my bike to school. Lots of people ride bikes in China. I go to school every day except Sundays. We speak Mandarin and I am learning to write Chinese at school. Tomorrow is Sunday. Shall we visit the Great Wall? It is the longest structure ever built. It's about 6,400 kilometers long. Wow, that is huge. I would love to see it. Next stop, India. Thump! Smoke covered the tiny machine as it touched down in India. Are you okay? asked by a kind voice. I turned around and there was a young girl. I learnt that her name was Aziza and she was 13 years old. She lived in the capital city of Mumbai with her family. She told me that she was lucky that her parents sent her to school. She went on to explain how most Indian families only send their sons to schools. I thought to myself that everyone has to go to school in my country. Aziza told me that she wants to be a teacher when she grows up. Just then, three cows strolled by. Aziza did not even blink. When I asked her about the cows, Aziza explained that cows ruled the roads. She and many other Indians followed a religion called Hinduism and believe that cows are sacred. Later that day, Aziza took me to the Taj Mahal, tomb of Emperor Shah Jahan's wife. It was wonderful to see and I learned a lot about how and when it was made. Next, the time machine landed in a cloud of sand and Jake found himself in front of a beach house in California, USA. A boy called Jacob invited him to a barbecue with his friends. Jacob was 12 years old and loved surfing and fishing. The next day, they went fishing on Jacob's boat. They saw three humpback whales rising out of the ocean. It was an amazing sight. Jake was having a fantastic time travelling around the world, but he missed his family, especially his grandpa. It was time to go home. He climbed into the time machine and pressed the glowing start button for the last time. He found himself back in grandpa's workshop. Jake, thank goodness! I was so worried, Grandpa shouted, wrapping him in a hug. I had such an amazing time. I made friends from China, India and the USA, explained Jake. The End